This is a new one to me that my daughter-in-law gave me. It's very nice. Mama Panya's Pancakes, a village tale from Kenya. Written by Mary and Rich Chamberlain, illustrated by Julia Cairns, and published by Barefoot Books. Mama Panya sang as she kicked sand with her bare feet, dousing the breakfast fire. Adika, hurry up, she called. Today we go to market. Surprise! I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. Adika stood in the doorway, dressed in his finest shirt and cleanest shorts. I'm ready. Now Mama Panya had to hurry. After storing her pots, gathering her bag, and slipping her feet into her sandals, Mama Panya called, I'm ready too, Adika. Where are you? Here I am, Mama. Two steps ahead of you. He sat under the baobab tree, Mama Panya's walking stick in hand. Why, yes, you are. She accepted the stick and led them down the road. What will you get at the market, Mama? Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. Are you making pancakes today, Mama? You are a smart one. I guess I can't surprise you. Ha! Yay! How many pancakes will you make? Mama fingered two coins folded in the cloth tied around her waist. A little bit and a little bit more. Rounding the corner, they saw Mizi Odolo sitting by the river. Habari za asubuhu, Mama said softly, so she wouldn't chase away the fish. Adika blurted out, we're having pancakes tonight. Please come. Adika, Mama whispered in his ear. Mazi Odolo waved back, saying, Asanti sana, I'll be there. Mama quickened her pace. We had to invite Mzi, Adika said. He's our oldest friend. Hurry up, you're a few steps behind, Mama replied. Look, Mama. It's Sawandi and Naiman. Adika's friends tapped long reeds against the thighs of their cattle, moving them along. I'll be just a few steps ahead. Wait, Adika, Mama called. Mama hadn't gone too far before he returned. They'd be happy to come, Adika panted. Mama Panya frowned, thinking about the coins in her wrap. Oh, how many people will that be? Let's see, Sawandi, Naiman, you and me, Adika counted, and Mizi Odolo, that's only five. Ay, how many pancakes do you think I can make today, son? I'm one step ahead of you, Mama. You'll have a little bit and a little bit more. That's enough. At the market, there were many buyers and sellers trading fruits, spices, and vegetables. Adika spotted his school friend, Camilla, at her plantain stand. Mama, she loves pancakes. Now, now, don't you? But before she could finish, he ran to greet his friend. Mama tried to catch up, arriving just in time to hear, you will come, won't you? Of course, Camilla replied. Mama shot a stare at Adika and quickly grabbed his hand, whisking him away. Mama, We'll be able to stretch the flower. Aye, how much do you think I can stretch flower, son? Adika waved his hand in the air. Oh, a little bit and a little bit more. At the flower stand, Mama said, Adika, you sit here. After greeting Bibi and Buwana Zawena, Mama asked, What can you give me for my money? She offered the larger of the two coins to Bibi Zawena who scooped a cup of flour onto a piece of brown paper. Adika popped up. Mama's making pancakes today. Can you come? Oh, how wonderful. I think we can give a little more for that coin. Buwana Zawena put a second cup onto the paper, then tied it up with a string. We'll see you later. 
Mama took the passage into her bag. aye ye you and I will be lucky to share half a pancake. But Mama, we have a little bit and a little bit more. Come, Adika, keep up with me. We may have just enough left for a small chili pepper. Leave it to me, Mama, I'll get a good one. No, Adika, she cried out, but he ran ahead to Rafiki Kaya's spice table. Mama got there just in time to hear. Mama's making pancakes tonight. Can you come? I'd love to, Kaya exclaimed. She grabbed the coin from Mama's hand and replaced it with the plumpest pepper. That's just enough. Thanks for inviting me. Mama just sighed. They headed home. How many people did we invite for pancakes tonight? Adika, skipping two steps ahead, sang his reply. All of our friends, Mama. Mama piled small twigs and sticks into the fire pit. Adika ran to fetch a pail of water. Mama crushed the chili pepper in a pot while Adika added some water. She stirred in all the flour, seeing there would be none to save. Mama poured a dollop into the oiled pan on the fire. Sawande and Naiman were the first to arrive, shouting, Hodi! Adika called Karibu to welcome them. They carried two leather drinking gourds filled with milk and a small pail of butter. Mama Panya, we have extra from our cattle. Maziodolo came soon after. Old Man River has given us three fish today. Gamilla arrived with a plantain bunch perched on her head. They go very well with pancakes. Plantains are like bananas. Bibi and Buana Zawena brought a package filled with more flour and handed it to Adika. Store this away for later. When Rafiki Kaya arrived, she brought handfuls of salt and cardamom spice along with her thumb piano. And the feast began as they sat under the baobab tree to eat Mama Panya's pancakes. Afterwards, Kaya played the thumb piano and Mazi Adolo sang slightly off key. Adika whispered with a gleam in his eyes and a smile on his face. I know you will make pancakes again soon, Mama. She smiled. Yes, Adika, you're one step ahead of me. And then we have pictures of village life in Kenya. Kenya is made up of many different peoples. Most are black Africans. There are also Asians, Europeans, and others. Many Kenyan people like Adika and Mama Panya live in rural areas. Village life. Most village people farm and take care of cows, goats, and chickens. Others might work on a tea or coffee plantation. When work is done for the day, villagers might tell stories under the stars and listen to the music of the thumb piano or mbira. School. Children like Adika go to school, but it's often a long walk to their classroom. Very few Kenyan families own cars, and there are not many paved roads. Where the government has not been able to set up schools, many villages have created their own classes. These are called harambe, which means pulling together. Harambe is also Kenya's national motto. After school, when they are not at school, older children might help with chores, such as collecting firewood and taking care of their youngest brothers and sisters. They might also play games such as bow an African board game of strategy, and football or soccer. Running is also popular. And this shows all the different things they would see on the way. A rainbow lizard, an acacia tree, a baobab tree, isn't that funny? A butterfly, a goat, cattle, mongoose. This is a palm tree and this is a tilapia. And here are some 
Kishwahili greetings. Kenyan people speak many languages, but the main ones are Kishwahili and English. Swahili refers to a group of people, also known as the Washahili, who live along the east coast of Africa, from Somalia to Mozambique. The word Swahili literally means coast people, and Kishwahili means speaking language of the coast people. Kishwahili is a mixture of Bantu, a native African language, and Arabic, a Middle Eastern one. In a village like Adikas, people might speak three languages, a local language, Kishwahili and English. Greetings are expected upon meeting someone. It is considered rude not to greet anyone in the appropriate way. As a visitor, you may hear the simple greeting, Jambo, which means hello. And here's lots of words. Let's see, I'll read you a few of them. Karibu is your welcome. And let's see, oh, friend is Rafiki. That's a good one. Let's see, where's thank you? Maybe it's, maybe thank you is the same. And there you go. I have some facts about Kenya. And here's a map. Oh, and here's a recipe for the pancakes. Yum. Maybe I'll go make some now. Take care.